Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Water Wars. Now, as you know, life has become way too easy for everyone, and we've started to buy more and more stupid things we don't need. It started with bottled water with pictures of mountains on the face of glorified tap water, but quickly devolved into something much dumber. With pseudoscience being used to get wealthy people's money, our founder quickly realized there is money to be made in monetizing the battles of these behemoths in what can only be described as the water wars for the dumbest product on the market. A coveted title, the winner usually stands to make millions of dollars. Now today in the left hand corner we have Mukande Singh, creator of Live Spring Water. The first time I drank fresh living spring water, a surge of energy and peacefulness entered my being. He's the challenger of this event, hoping to upset in the right hand corner, Mr. Oshiro, creator of Kangen Water. Yeah. <laughs> First, let's take a gulp of Kangen water. Let's go to the analyst desk to learn more. Thanks, Stephen. Longtime followers of the Water Wars will know these two pretty well, but let's run down the stats of these two real quick who are battling for water supremacy. Our favorite, of course, to win today is Kangen Water. They've been around for longer selling alkaline water, which you may have heard of from your local Karen. As an MLM and definitely not a pyramid scheme, I repeat, definitely not a pyramid scheme, you've heard of this on Facebook and probably have been asked to buy it. But whether or not you are a believer, Kangen Water has an eye-popping $4,000 machine, which is definitely no laughing matter. And in this analyst's opinion, very, very dumb a tough contender to beat. Our challenger today is of course the creator of Live Spring Water, originally named Christopher Sanborn. It's unclear why he chose to name himself Makande Singh, except to get all those sweet Westerners dollars who want to believe that something like Mukande Singh means there's something mystical about him. He doesn't sell a machine, but he does employ a subscription model of getting water, true to his California roots, pricing it at a respectable $16 an orb with a minimum order of four jugs, which definitely makes May have been the factor which got him past the semifinals. And of course, this is pretty dumb, but is it dumb enough? Luckily for Makande, there's some questionable stories about where he's getting his water, so we can only hope he has something more up his sleeve, because his viral marketing campaign, while it's undeniable, isn't going to be enough. Still though, look at that long-haired hippie hike up the mountains. With tap water available in everybody's faucet, we've all got to admit, that is pretty dumb. Thanks for that. Now let's get this thing started. I want to see a clean BPA free fight here today. Wow. Kangen Water starts it out with a predictable water demonstration using the old tea bag trick. Nothing really happened. Let's try Kangen. Same tea bag, Kangen. That pure green color. I see supporter dollars flowing in already. Not to be outdone though, our challenger fires back, saying that his live water has probiotics in it. Pristine spring water that still has a lot of the healthy probiotics in it. Now, can we get a fact check on that? Nope, but it doesn't seem to matter because it has done the trick. Sales are through the roof. He follows it up with a predictable rhetorical device of calling all his competitors water, dead water. I could never go back to drinking dead water again. Kangen Water seems enraged by this. Their alkaline water is losing sales. Hippies are winning. The hippies are winning. Not only that, they followed up with a testimonial about the healing powers of live water. A woman can breastfeed again. It's a miracle. I had a neighbor who wasn't able to breastfeed her baby. I shared some raw spring water with her and she was able to breastfeed her child again. But what's this? Kangen Water fires back with a hot new video about trying to light their water on fire. See, you're gonna hear. What exactly are they trying to do here? They say they're testing it for active hydrogen. Does that mean anything in terms of your health? Nothing, because the body maintains a tightly controlled pH, but this is exactly the kind of dumb stuff Kangen needs if they're gonna pull ahead. And man, it's working. It's scoring points with the crowd. Wait, no, hold on. I'm getting confirmation. Yes, this is impossible. No, it's true. Makande Singh may have faked the idea that he's climbing up mountains to get live water and is simply bottling at an Oregon water facility. 
Instead of hiking down a 300 foot canyon to get to Opal Spring, the founder of Live Spring Water is actually getting his water from right here, Opal Springs Bottling Company. Oh my gosh, this, this match is over. This match is over. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Kangen Water has been dethroned. I never thought I'd see the day. The reigning champ of the Water Wars. But this California native was not to be outdone. He was not intimidated. He held tough and he ultimately came away victorious. We're gonna give him the floor to give you final words. Here is your Water War 2020 victor. So live water is freshest within one lunar cycle because it can turn green if the water gets too hot. It turns green because there's healthy microbes in it. <laughs>